In bubble sort, the core idea is to compare each pair of neighboring elements starting from the beginning of the array and swap them if they are out of order. This process causes the largest unsorted element to bubble up to the end of the array with each iteration. The algorithm continues repeating these passes until all elements are sorted. In the first pass, the algorithm checks for all the elements. In the next pass, one less and so on. As a result, the average case time complexity of the bubble sort is big O of n square. The space complexity remains constant since no additional memory is required. Everything is done in place. Now in the best case scenario, when the array is already sorted, the time complexity becomes linear. In this case, the algorithm still compares all neighboring elements in a single pass, but since no swapping takes place, it recognizes that the array is already sorted and stops early. Now let's take a look at the code. First, we define a function and take the array as input. Next, we store the length of the array in a variable, usually named n. We then run a loop for n iterations. Inside this loop, we create a variable called swapped and initially set it to false. This variable keeps track of whether any swapping occurred during the current pass. Now comes the nested loop. It runs from the first element to the last unsorted element in the array. Notice that the range goes up to n minus i minus 1 times. This indicates the end of the unsorted part of the array. Within this inner loop, if any two elements are found to be out of order, we swap them and set swapped to true, indicating that at least one change has occurred. If after a complete pass, no swapping was done, it means the array is already sorted, so we break out of loop early. And finally, after all iterations, we return the sorted array.